Folks, we're here in Hotchkiss, Colorado for the Steve Reuter estate auction, and we have this little casita. It's a 16-foot Spirit Deluxe is what it says on the tag. And so we're going to go ahead and do a little video on this thing. I've had a lot of people calling wanting to see more information on this little camper. We do have a clean Colorado title that we will transfer to the buyer whenever we have the auction. And uh, so we just want to do a quick walk around. There's been a couple small cosmetic flaws that I've seen on the outside, nothing material, but I do want to point those out to you. So we're just going to go around the outside, then we'll step up inside the camper and you guys can see inside. So just starting up here on the uh, front right hand corner, you can see they've caught something right there and took it right down the side, scratched it and dented the vent there a little bit. Nothing material, but I did want to have you guys know that that was there. You can see you've got your Catalina awning that goes down the length of it here on the right hand side. And behind these panels, I'm pretty sure you've got your refrigerator and possibly your stove as well. This should be your vent for your hot water heater. We do have the keys for this, just so you know, so that we can lock them. We'll give you those keys, obviously, whenever you buy the camper. So. The little man that we're selling this for passed away a year ago. He did keep this little thing stored under the shed. When you guys see the inside, I think you'll agree, man, it's just a clean little camper. You can see the last year you had a title was in 2000, or plated was in 2012. Did want to show you guys there's been a little damage on two spots right here, and you can see they put some epoxy on there to kind of patch that up. That, to my knowledge, is about the only real damage on the outside of this camper. So. And I apologize for the wind. We just can't seem to get the wind to stop blowing out here right now. Springtime in Western Colorado. So you can see you've got your uh, connections for your power right here. Tires on both sides, they look almost brand new guys. So the tires are in good shape. There's your fresh water connection right there. And we'll just kind of pan down this side so you guys can see it. But I do believe this is a clean little camper. So you've got a rack, I think this is for your bicycles, is what I'm guessing right here on the front. And of course, two propane tanks, and this does take the two inch ball, and it has the seven prong RV plug on the front for your lights. So we're gonna go ahead and step inside here and let you guys look. So again, we're on the right hand side of the camper. I'll show you the inside of the camper door, looks pretty good. There's a little bit of stains on the inside of that, guys, but nothing nothing extraordinary. So you've got your little air conditioner right here, and we've got a closet. And I'm just going to go ahead, I'll kind of pan up so you guys can see what we're stepping into here. So when you step into the front, right here on your right-hand side, you've got the little bathroom area. You can see you've got faucet in your shower and then you've got your floor with your drain under it right there and then there's your little toilet so your bathroom area is right here in the front of the house guys I can tell you I'm six foot tall and I'm right up against the roof of this thing just so you know so if you're over six feet you're probably gonna be a little crowded I'm gonna pan back around real quick now again this is where we stepped into the camper there's a little storage area right here okay bathroom door right here so again the, the entryway is behind me now so you can see you've got your little dining area for two and I don't know that does not appear that this folds down into a bed I don't think that that folds into a bed possibly it would I guess Not sure that that does. I will try that here in just a second and we'll see. So your dining area is on your right hand side as you come into the camper with a little bit of storage overhead. I don't know what all is in these cubby holes, but you're gonna get it, whatever's there. On your left, and again, here's your entry door. As you'll, on your left, as you come in, you can see you got your refrigerator, microwave, a little bit of storage space across the top. You've got your oven range right there. Your sink is right here in the middle and a little bit of storage underneath. There's kind of what your fridge looks like. Not bad storage for a little camper. 
There's how you get a whole set of screwdrivers, I guess. There's your little sink area. Two burners. And it does not appear that you have an oven in this. So I think you're, you're short an oven. Uh, you can see here on the back, I think this folds up. Yeah, that should fold up out of the way. You've got what looks to be a double or a full possibly here in the back. And then again, you got a little storage over top. The vent appears to be good. And I don't see anything in here that would indicate any kind of damage on the roof or any type of leaking. So I did want to see if you guys will bear with me here. I think this possibly folds down into where you could sleep one more person. So I'm going to just set my phone down right quick, guys. Give me just 10 seconds here. And it does indeed. That is a perfect fit. And if you get your two cushions here, I think you can wedge that in there. Oh, here we go. Taking up some extra space there. I hope this video is not too cumbersome for you guys to watch. There is an extra bed. So that's the little camper in a nutshell, guys. I think that's your furnace down right there. Just a cozy little thing. Again, a 16-footer. Um, everything this guy has had has been pretty well maintained. So I'm going to speculate that everything in this camper probably works. As you saw from the outside, it doesn't, it hasn't been plated in several years. So my guess is the batteries are dead and that kind of stuff. I'll bet you he winterized it. Obviously, we can't guarantee that, folks, but I'll bet he did. I'm looking for a thermostat for, oh, no. A thermostat, I saw that. I thought maybe that's just the light. I was looking for a thermostat for uh, the furnace, but I'm not seeing one right offhand. And it may be, oh, there it is right there. There's your thermostat right there, guys. Sorry about that. So, just a cozy little camper. This is a really, really clean little casita. 16-footer. And I know I mentioned what model it was. I forgot already. I'll, I'll put it on the listing. But nice little camper if you guys are looking for one. And we will have it on Equipment Facts. So you can either bid online or you're welcome to come to Hotchkiss and bid in person. We'd love to have you at our auction. So if you have any questions, give me a holler. Thanks, guys.